Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Quake on the Nightmare difficulty with the Copper mod. Played through Quake Spasm Spiked, we are doing all levels continuously and this is E4M5, Hell's Atrium. Let's begin. We'll grab the health, ignore the zombie, get the super nail gun out, and then use it to kill both of these spawns. Hopefully they won't jump in your face and deal a gazillion damage as they explode. We're gonna go up the stairway and take a left here. Then grab the quad damage, ignore the ring of shadows for the time being, just to make sure we kill all these dudes, and then get ready to kill this spawn. Now we'll grab the ring of shadows, then kill the hell knights that were following us, then kill the boar that spawned. Then we're gonna take a trip over to this side, and get the grenades ready since we picked them up. We're gonna kill both of these spawns and the zombies near them. And the hell knight, we'll grab some more grenades right here. And we'll be able to make our merry way through this area without much of a hutch now. So let's go into here with the gold key that we picked up from that area with all the zombies and the two spawns. We'll push this button so that this lift will lower. Shoot this button so that we can go over here, get the grenade launcher ready for these zombies. Shoot one right here too. And as for this guy, we'll kill him with the super shotgun. And you. Yeah, we'll finish you off. All right. So over here is the nails. Over here is the health. We'll grab that real quick. We'll get the boar out. And we'll slowly kill it. Might have to play peekaboo with it, but that's fine. We're going to wait for this to go up. And then go into it real quick. Now let's go in here and rampage these zombies. Grab the perforator too. And let's go over here and kill these ones. One shot ought to do them all in. Step over there, grab the vulnerability and the pressure on the plate so we can get more enemies in on this mess. Someone shut this wall here, otherwise this area would have revealed... It's not a secret, but you might as well get it. It's like a little extra thing. I'm gonna kill the rest of the zombies here. Make sure they're all dead. Yeah, that should be good. So let's go into here, push this button, go down into this area. We'll kill the spawn with the grenades, grab the quad damage, and go to the left side so we can... Or rather, the right side, so we can kill all the fiends. Sometimes the fiends are on the left side, sometimes they're on the right. We'll kill the rest of the spawns. Maybe shoot some zombies too. Switch between the super shotgun and the regular shotgun. You can use the regular shotgun to jib the zombies while you still have the quad damage. If you're running it low on ammo, you can just switch to the nail gun or the super nail gun, whichever one you prefer. Probably not for these guys, though. You want to switch to the super nail gun for them if you still have the quad damage. But when you're done with all that, you can take a breather, go over here, kill this spawn. If you can aim your grenades, which I can't. Quite sad, but that's fine. We got the nail gun. We also got the thunderbolt. When we grab that... Some enemies will appear to give you an excuse to use it. Now, if you're low on ammo for the Thunderbolt, you can just do a ramp jump up here. And get some cells like that. So let's uh, dedicate this little segment to clearing out the rest of the zombies. And the fiends. Might as well. There are two death knights up there, but we'll deal with them later. Because we're going to go into here right now. Thunderbolt for that spawn over here. We'll step on this plate. We'll open up and reveal that spawn right there. Grab the grenade launcher. Then kill these two zombies and this one right behind you. Grab more rockets as well. Make sure you're ready for these zombies in this area. Because they all crawl out. There's more rockets to compensate you for your rocket usage, I suppose. Over here's a wall, you want to hit it, then go up here. You can kill this guy with a thunderbolt or super nail gun. Either way, you want to go down for a swim here with the super nail gun, not the thunderbolt. You want to grab the invulnerability. The uh, spawn will be waiting for you. You want to get rid of him with the super nail gun. Because if you use a thunderbolt underwater, you'll regret it. You can use it here, though, for this secret area, which isn't that much of a secret, but still a secret nonetheless. We'll drop down here and uh, grab the cells right here. It'll wake up some friends, like this spawn here. And there is another spawn that's in here. We'll just kill the rest of these guys. Use the grenade launcher to get rid of these zombies. Grab the health, because why not? We need it at this point. 
And we'll ascend the ramp for rails this time. And grab the silver key. Now that we have the silver key, we are going to open something silver, you'll see. And uh, we'll double check for any other things we can do in this area. Like, we're going to grab this quad damage right here. And take a trip to the right side. We'll break out the thunderbolt, because there are fiends here. Then we can break out these shotgun, or these rockfish. There's another quad damage you can pick up, but we'll do it after we've solved this puzzle. Be a little efficient with it. We can also double check this area because, uh, you know, zombies are weird. They like to crawl around in weird spaces where you'd never look, where you'd never imagine they'd be. And sometimes they're quiet. A lot of times they're really noisy, but they're also, like, quiet too. Like, they can be, like, totally silent and you'll never know where they are. So, uh, don't hesitate to double check if you feel like you haven't gotten them all. But I think I did. So let's continue. Alright, we'll go down for a swim, pick up this quad damage, go through the portal. And then we can go through this area. And we're going back to somewhere, somewhere we've been for good reason because, uh... Oh, of course, I forgot this zombie! Oh, wow. And he's still alive. Not for long, I hope. There we go. Yeah, it's a zombie at the start. Embarrassing. There's a fiend here. Or a vor. But there's also a fiend here. But, here is the ultimate challenge of the level. Platforming. Yes, you can push that switch there, but... You would use the key. And you don't want to use the key. You want to kill this boar. And then open this door. Because if you use the key, you would use it up and wouldn't be able to open this door. Because this leads to the secret level. So make sure you use it here instead of over there. And then you can go through the secret door and finish the level. Alright, that was Hell's Atrium. And uh, yeah, that one is... Uh... A little tougher, but you know, once you get a rhythm down, it should be easy. The hardest part is definitely the platforming. That will ruin your run because if you fail, you are dead. <laughs> like everything else is just uh, mostly smooth sailing. I mean, you could probably be a little smoother if you had grenades. Like you could kill the zombie at the start, which I forgot to do at the end there. Uh, but that's fine. We still had the quad damage, we still had grenades. And we'll have more for the next level, because, like I said, we're doing all levels continuously. Now, I do kind of regret not picking up that grenade launcher in the previous level to get that extra ammo, because I probably could have used it at the zombie at the start and probably saved us a little bit of time. But, you know, these levels are going to be a little bit longer anyway, because episode 4 is the odd one out of the Quake episodes, you know. But I still enjoy it nonetheless. There are some weird things that happen too, like... I think, uh... The war has a pretty weird spawn by the area outside, like the first outdoor area. It's like, uh, whenever I pick up the Ring of Shadows, it doesn't want to spawn. Whenever I, like, cross the, uh, like, lined up or whatever that it's supposed to spawn with. But, uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll, uh, We'll see more of these guys in the future. But anyways, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we go into the secret level of episode 4. But until then, toodaloo.